Alright, thanks for coming back. It's lesson 7.5. Now we're actually going to do some calculus and differentiate logarithmic functions. So, remember that last lesson before Christmas break? The one about inverses? Mm -hmm. Maybe you remember this lovely expression? Okay, you probably didn't. But, in any case, if I wanted to find the derivative of the inverse, that's g prime of x, it was equal to 1 over, or the reciprocal of the original function's derivative evaluated at the inverse. So remember, in our studies here, y equals e to the x and y equals ln x are inverse functions. So by using that formula, if I wanted to say that g of x, and I'll write it over here, g of x is my natural log function, that means f of x is my e to the x function, and to figure out the derivative of g prime, that's this one again, right? You need to do 1 over f prime of g of x. So that means I need to figure out f prime. And of course, f prime is just the e to the x function. But evaluate it at g of x, so that's ln x. And that's how you get 1 over x, because e and ln are inverse functions. And that's what I said here. Okay. Now, if you didn't like this proof, there's another way of doing it. Remember how we said y equals e to the x is the exponential function, the inverse is just the switching of the variables? Well, if you use this now and take its derivative, the derivative of x is, of course, 1. The derivative of e to the y is just e to the y times, that's right, y prime. Don't forget implicit differentiation. And now I'll solve for y prime, that's 1 over e to the y, and what is e to the y? That is correct. That's just 1 over x. Same thing. So, things in the box, important. The key one, the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. Okay. Interesting, if you have now u as a function, so some crazy thing with x, then of course it's 1 over u with a u prime. This is the chain rule form. And if it's not ln, if it's just log base a, there's an extra factor of ln a that appears in the denominator. All right? So I usually just memorize this one and this one. The other two over here are just applications of chain rule. All right? Let's try. So differentiate y equals ln of 5x. y prime, of course, is just 1 over 5x. And because this is like my u, I need my u prime. What is u prime? An extra factor of 5. That just simplifies to 1 over x. Done. Number 2. Same thing, I've seen ln of something, so 1 over 3t squared minus t. And don't forget, this is u, so the derivative of u is 6t minus 1. We can combine that together, and there you have it. There's your derivative. And then for the third one here, I see x times ln x. You heard me right, x times ln x. Can you say A and B? Can you say product rule? Here we go. A prime B plus B prime, which is 1 over X. A, which is just that. And of course, simplify, please. And you'll just get natural log of X plus 1. Done. And that's your answer. Okay. Alright, let's look at example number four. Ooh, I've got this absolute value thing. Hmm. It asks me to graph that out. Oops, running low. Hold on, let me get some power first. Nice. So, I'm asking you to graph out the natural log of the absolute value of x. Hopefully you have done that already while I was waiting to get some power. But here we have the natural log of x function. The absolute value just means you take everything that's to the right of the x or the y-axis and it's a reflection in the y-axis. Okay. 
Okay, so it says for the right half of the graph, the absolute value has no effect, right? Because it's the same function. But what about the left half of the graph? Well, notice in this case, you have some slopes. You can think about the slopes. Slope, 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 slope. So I hope you can think about what this gives you. If I have this point at, let's say, negative 1, what's the slope? Negative 2, what's the slope? And I hope you thought it was this. And if you're not sure why that's the case, let me just quickly show you algebraically. This would be the function y equals to the natural log of x. So that would be this particular part here. If I ask you to take the derivative, well, that's just 1 over negative x. But don't forget, chain rule is an extra factor of negative 1. So you still get the same derivative. Okay. So bottom line, if I give you the absolute value for this natural log function, if I ask you to differentiate it, don't worry about that absolute value. It can be ignored because the derivative is still the same. Okay. In this case, the absolute value may change the domain, but it won't change the derivative. So knowing that, turn the page, and I'm going to ask you to try example number five. Notice this is y is my independent variable, so it's not like this is implicit differentiation, just regular derivative. So 1 over 5 minus 2y cubed, chain rule, negative 6y squared, and there you have it, your derivative. Yay! All right, now let's do some more funky stuff. So, star this one. Remember why we did all that stuff in the previous section, reviewing log rules? Well, good luck trying to differentiate this. If you just wanted to take the derivative, yeah, it's 1 over this. And then don't forget, it's a function within a function. So now you have chain rule. Chain rule says you should take the derivative of this. Rational function. Oh, I see a quotient. Let's do that. Load times derivative of high. Uh-oh. The derivative of high seems to have two things multiplied together. And there's a square root. Ah! You'll be here for a long, long time. You don't want to be here for a long, long time. So, this is where, if possible, simplify the log functions first before differentiating them. So, in this case, I would break this up as the natural log of x times the square root of 2x plus 1, because that's the numerator, minus the natural log of x squared plus 1. Okay. I would still break this down even further because... I can rewrite the bracket as natural log of x plus the natural log of, and can I write this as 2x plus 1 to the power of a half? Okay. And better yet, just to save us some time, can I actually ask you to take this half and bring it down to the front? Because that's one of those log rules. And once it's in this form, now, now go ahead and take the derivative. Much easier to do. So go ahead, you try this, and then come back and double check your answer with me after you're done. Be careful of the chain rule. Chain rule. <coughs> Oops, what did I just touch? Oh. <laughs> did you get this as your final answer? Please say yes. I'm happy if you did. And if you didn't, that's okay. Figure out what you did wrong and make it work. Alright, so on the previous page there was this definition where if it wasn't natural log, you got this extra factor of log A. 
Let me show you why this is true now. All right. To do that, I'm going to ask us to use that change of base rule and rewrite this log base AX as log base. And you can use any base. I'm going to use base E. Oh, well, wait a minute. What's another way of writing base E? Mm hmm. You got it. Good. So what that means now is that this derivative ddx of log base ax is the same thing as the derivative of ln x over ln a. Now remember, ln a is just a constant. So I can just take out that ln a and not worry about it and just take the derivative of the natural log of x. Well, what's the derivative of natural log of x? Mm -hmm. I hope you remember. We've been doing it a lot. That's right. It's just 1 over x. And so therefore, if I write the x in front and the ln a in the back, I get that what I started with. And so with that, can we finish off our last example in today's notes? And then you have a chance to practice to make this perfect, or at least make this more understandable for you. I'll assign you some questions to do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Don't forget now, natural log of 2. Oops, what did I forget? The chain rule. So 2x times x squared plus 1 times the natural log of 2 all in the denominator. And if I ask you to find y prime at 2, just plug in 2. So 2 times 2, 2 squared plus 1, natural log of 2. 4 over 5 ln 2. That's the exact answer. Awesome. Do these questions now from the assignment. So you can practice and be great. You need to know this well, because if you don't know this well, our next lesson won't be so fun for you as well. <laughs>